Hey y'all, it's PD here from Fireside Church. I got a word for you from the Lord. Some fire, as I like to call it. Amen. You need to receive a word from God, my friends. Whether you hear it from me or you go directly to God, get a word from God so you can start advancing in your life. It's just like David did. If you read in 1 Chronicles chapter 14, when David was anointed king over all of Israel, <clears throat> it immediately attracted a new level of satanic attack. Your promotion and exaltation will always attract a new level of satanic attack. And you gotta be alert and ready to fight. The more knowledge you receive, the more exposure you have in life, the more money and property that you acquire and the more uh, anointed you become in the service of the Lord, the more satanic attacks that will come your way. In the midst of all of this, the secret that will keep you always progressing, advancing, and increasing in power is released through receiving a word from God. Divine instructions. As you saw with David, sometimes he was, he, he, he had to fight. Sometimes he had to fight a different way. And sometimes he, he wasn't even fighting at all. He was being obedient and seeking God for a word. And he was always victorious in these circumstances. Okay? There are different battles of life with different strategies for success. The way you did it one time may not be the same way God wants you to do it this time. God might be using another strategy to obtain victory for a similar battle. And it's very crucial for you to receive a word from God each time. Doing the right thing at the wrong time can be dangerous, y'all. But doing the wrong thing at the right time is even more dangerous. Believe me, I know. You must do the right thing at the right time always, and you can only do that by receiving a word from God. That's why it's so important to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. You know, many people have failed in life projects, have been, have been aborted, these projects have been aborted and purposes destroyed because of a lack of divine timing received through a word from God. If you miss the timing of God for a particular event, it can cost you your entire life. Timing is very important and it's very powerful. Opportunities, victories, successes, and everything you can think about have particular timings. If you're going to fulfill your purpose and do it majestically, then you must be very sensitive to the voice of God regarding various timings of, of his purposes in your life. There are people that are, are never remembered right now today because they miss the time for that great event in their life. There are people that are struggling right now, like you today, in every area of their life because they miss their time concerning what it would be take to be successful. Timing is so crucial for victory and conquest in the battles of life, y'all. God is either on your side or he's against you, depending on how sensitive you are to his divine timing. I mean, look at Moses. He was a deliverer of the children of Israel but he attempted to fulfill his mission at the wrong time, right? He was driven out of Egypt because of one mistake, okay? Because he tried to get ahead of himself. And he ended up in a strange land for 40 years, taking care of sheep. It cost him his status and half of his life, prince of Egypt in line to be Pharaoh to a nobody shepherd. Listen, timing is so crucial. God's plans and purposes for your life, your family, your church, your organization, your business, your ministry, city, nation, continent, it must be fulfilled within a particular time. Your ability to perceive the time is of the Lord is one of the major keys to unlock your glorious destiny. Amen? Hey, y'all. As always, take care of yourselves and each other. Kelly and I, we, we, we love you to the moon and back. But more importantly, Jesus loves you with a never-ending, forever and ever love. Amen. Peace out.